Hey, it's Matthew here in Ross Kitchen, Sweet Jamaica. I'm about to go visit Ross Fire, who is actually Moko's neighbor. And him and his friend Wani, years ago, maybe 10 years ago, actually bought the piece of land next to Moko and have been spending plenty of time there over the years. So we did an interview with Wani a few years ago, and now we're gonna go catch up with Ras Faya. And he's got some crazy stories. He spent a lot of years in Jamaica, and we'll see how he's lived here, what it was like getting the property, what he's up to now, and he did just put a whole ton of work back into the yard, building it up again after being gone over the whole pandemic. So the last time I was here, it was covered in bush. I think Koopy Ratchi and I went and got grapefruit off his yard. So thanks Ross for that one. And uh, it's looking really, really good. So let's go catch up with Ross. So this is Ross Faya and Wani's yard. And there wasn't any fence around it last time. They just put a whole ton of work into it. And you can see right by the river, just beautiful spot. Let's go check out the man. <sighs> Skiba! What's up? You're good, man. Morning. What's up? Good to see you, man. And you were following me around, I think, in the video I did with Wani. And you were just a little annoying buggy puppy then. This is Buggy, who now has two puppies on the yard. <laughs> yes, girl. And I think, I know you're not supposed to have favorites, but you are my favorite dog on the yard, wa uh, Buggy. I almost called you Wassy, because Wassy is your dad, I think. Rest in peace, Wassy, but. Getting this piece from Ross. Ah, nice. There's another piece over there. Okay. Good morning, I'm yeah, here with Ross morning. Fire. And I only know you as Ross Fire. For real, man. Yes. <laughs> Name's Ross, man. Ross so I think Fire. they just call me Ross. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Think I it's was the wondering. same name, man. That's hilarious, because when I first came here, Mocha was telling me about you yeah, yeah. and Wani. Uh -huh. And I have to start off with a funny story, because uh, Mocha told me, like, oh, there's these guys from Scotland, and they're real Rastas. Yeah. And they keep Ital, and they're vegetarian, and... Oh, but man, him smoke nuffer. Yo, when you... we when we first came here, man, we were young and we weren't used to the amount of herb that we can get here for so cheap. Yeah. <laughs> so we were just like sitting over in Morocco, just burning herb all day, reading Bible, playing music. It was so it's funny. A good life, man. He sounded actually concerned with <laughs> totally, how much weed, man. and I'm like, if if he's concerned, <laughs> yeah, totally. it must be a problem. Must be a lot. One of the time, Morocco and one of the guests, Papa, go a bay, and they left like ounces on the table. And me and Wani just kept going back and just rolling spliffs, rolling spliffs. And when they came back, man, they were like, yo, where's all the herb gone, man? And the whole herb was gone, man. Oh, that's so crazy. Uh, um, did you want to start by maybe giving me a tour of the yeah, yard? Yeah, yeah, I'll give you a tour of the yard. Okay, so sweet. done a lot of work here since I got here. Um, yeah. So bathroom, toilets here. Managed to get that sorted because, like, it's been up and down since we came here uh, for the, like, past 10 years. Yeah. But obviously like the weather and stuff it just keeps knocking it down man so we just need to kind of try and maintain it man but we got the fence done yeah the fence makes it looks yeah, awesome the really bamboo good. whole way around and the next one of my friends came and helped me that with, with the fence man but it's looking really good um and then my big house there man yes sick Natural. Awesome. Nothing and this, this was Wani's place, right? I'm still staying in Wani's place okay, right now. Okay, so big up Wani. We miss you, dude. It's been a while. I'll come back soon, man. Yeah, because when I was here with Wani, the same thing had happened. He hadn't been for a minute, and the yeah. place was all kind of roughed totally, up. Man, totally. Bathroom was gone. His yeah. place was standing up pretty good. Yeah, but... his, his place is quite strong, man. It just needs a little, like, like mine. Uh, mine was standing there. My old place was standing there for like nine years. Yeah. And like, it was totally fine man but i i just pulled it down and put it that's it there in the bathroom now man oh like yeah. all the old ply and that nice and the zinc so but this is this is where i'm staying just now man nice. built the bed uh, i've got a little gym from there yes and that's irish moss and spirulina oh you got them both yeah man wicked so yes yeah, so it's held up well but yeah, yeah it's show held us up well man and then i've still I've got any current over here man so i'm still using the solar Oh, right on. Does that work enough for you to do what you have to do, or is uh, it? It gives me light. Yeah. It gives me light, and then I need to go over to Donna to charge up my like my battery pack. You know yeah. what I mean? But yeah, there's there's nothing in here yet, man. But looks good, man. Yes. Two rooms. Cool. Oh, I was getting some mud in your place. Don't worry about it, man. Oh, I need to wipe it. Look, at, I was just walking in the farm with the wife. Yeah, two rooms. Yeah, nice. 
And these banana come off the farm and Ratty give me these cane. Yeah. Enough cane going around. Load right of banana now. here, man. Sweet. But yeah, there's a lot of work going in the kitchen here. It needs some work inside, but the outside is done, man. It looks good, man. Yeah, sweet. Just something to keep the shelter. Yeah, something to keep shelter. You yeah, guys got the coal going. Yeah, it's a classic outdoor totally, Jamaican man. kitchen. Yeah, spot, man. Totally. So, but, can you tell me again how you guys ended up here? So, like, we, me and Samuel, we were really interested in Rastafari. Yeah. Um, well, from a young age, like, talking like 14, 15 years old. And we were just, like, researching it a lot, listening to a lot of reggae music. But, like, where we come from in Scotland, there's, like, very little Rasta, if, yeah. if any. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, we were just kind of, like, we just came out of school, and, like, school wasn't for me going into like college and all that stuff it just wasn't i didn't feel the vibe for it at all you know what i mean so i left school and ended up just started working in like a call center and washing dishes um and then me and samuel we were like really interested in coming out and trying to like just experience the proper culture mm. of it all um and we ended up going on a website called world together and we found Marco, and we ended up speaking to the woman who was running that and got us in direct contact with Marco. and we ended up like speaking to Marco for months and he just gave us like a proper good vibe and just the, the thing that got me about Marco is he was just so dumb to earth man you know what I mean like you think of like you think of like we never got an idea of what Rastas were like you know what I mean so you kind of have them in this like high 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 standing and think they're gonna be like something they're not but then when you come here they're just like people you know what I mean dumb to earth people and that's what Rastafara is man you know what I mean it's just life man woman and child you know um, so that's what we, we got in, interested in, came here, and then we were just eating Aital for for three months straight, smoking yeah. ganja, swimming <laughs> in the river, um, learning about farming, learning about cooking. Um, and then on the, the last month, me, me, Samuel and Marco, we always used to like sit over at night and just kind of like reason and joke about living here and how we'd want land and all this, you know what I mean? And then on the last month, Marco said, like, yo, come here, and, and ended up letting us speak to one of his friends. Mm -hmm. and she was selling this place and we were like no way we asked her about it and we were like if you if could you wait a couple months yeah. until um so we can come back and um like buy it off you and she was like no problem Amazing. and since that we've just bought it and then little by little we've just tried to like get the place set up like this now you know what i mean this is the furthest that's actually ever been done I was going like to say, a proper yard, you yeah, know what you I mean? guys had your houses and you had like had the, the houses, and the kitchen, but yeah. looking like a full on yeah, yard, full man. On yard, <laughs> like, and then like, it's a big space. Yeah, and then three years ago, I'll show you about, I, we planted up like all these like coconut trees. So these coconut trees here, they're three years old. Yep. This plum tree, three years old. So we planted all that up like last time I was here. Yeah. And it's kind of like just, just show me like, you know what I mean? Like how fast things actually grow. You think three years is a long time, but that'll go past quick. No kidding. You know what I mean? And then, you know, if, if I never planted any of these, it'd never be here, man. So hopefully in the next two years, I'll start to bear something and I'll have some coconut. I'll show you around, man. There's loads of stuff like this here. That's a lime tree. Nice. You smell the, yeah. you smell that. You smell how it. Oh man. Yeah. You make tea with this as well. Ooh. There's loads of these about. So we got this, this is banana. These bear pretty quickly too, I yeah, think, right? Yeah, like they, they can bear, bear when they're I, small. I had a little lime bush here, and it yeah. was just small, but it was bearing loads of lime. Um, bananas come pretty quick. Bananas here, yeah. They're, they're a couple the years. Totally. And it's funny because years ago when we first got the land, Marco and me, we planted up a bunch of planting and banana. And since then, I've not had to plant any more because as they grow, they drop more yeah, suckers yeah. and they just keep going. So I've not actually planted any more planting a banana. They're just like all about the land. It's amazing. There's more there, see the banana there. Yeah. Oh, that's a big one. Yeah. So when did you plant that one? Honestly, that, that came from like the first time we planted it and they've just like kept dropping suckers. And just, just coming going. back. Yeah, I so can yeah, even tell you. There's some suckers right here. So yeah, these are the ones you can take and replant, but yeah. Yeah, it's a huge yard, yeah, man. Yeah, it is, man. Honestly, when you get it, it fenced off, that's you what I was going to say. It, you know what I mean? I didn't notice it was this big until you guys yeah, yeah, actually yeah. put up the boundary. So, yeah, it's, it's giant. It's looking good, man. Yeah. So, do you guys just both share the whole area, or you kind of got your half and no, no, Ronnie's we just got share, his half? share the area, yeah, man. You guys are yeah, yeah, from way back. To totally, man. Yeah. We just, it's, it's both of our land, man, eh? So, we just both share it, man. That's amazing. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully, Sammy will come back soon, man, and we can. 
plant up a bunch more stuff, you know what I mean? That's what I want to do when I come back, is like plant up a bunch more trees and stuff, like along the along the fence line. I plant up a bunch more fruit trees and stuff like that. Yeah, we but, missed you guys over the pandemic. Yeah, that's that's what held me back from coming back, but it's good still because it gave me more time to just prepare and like be able to do this, you know what I mean? So, yeah. so yeah, it wasn't, you just got to take it, take it as it is, you know what I mean? Okay. So you guys got cocoa here too? Cocoa there, that's another citrus bush. I think this is orange. This is orange here. You got your smell. Same thing. Might actually be lime. Oh, lime, lime dude? Lime. Yeah, lime. And mm. then this is aki. aki now this tree was here a while because I think... It's been here years, w man. When I did the tour with Wani, yeah, I think it was, was smaller and like yeah. climbing up the thing at the end of it. I've trimmed it down because it's getting too big, man. Not much changes, right, Ratty? <laughs> no. <laughs> Although he was pretty small then. He's old. Yeah. Oh, you don't snap it, man. <laughs> I think you were doing exactly the same thing, but you're probably half the size. Yeah. Sweet. There's a bunch Wait. of trees about, man. That's all I really wanted to plant up last time I was here. I didn't, like, pineapple in there as well. Oh, nice. Pretty much everything that's grown here, man, you can do something with it. Like, this is a tea bush. Mm -hmm. Tea bush here, you use the, the leaves to make tea. Can't remember the name of it. I found some tomatoes. Tomatoes? Where's yeah. the tomatoes? Some plants. Over there at the, at the actual tree when I come On the down. yard? Really? Yeah. Where'd they come from? I don't know. They just popped up? I think it's tomato. I see it. Looks like tomato. Yeah. It does, yeah. Yeah. It's here. Ratty's got the eye for, for real, it. Man. He keeps me right by everyone, man. Yeah. <laughs> he keeps me right over here. What's it like having Ross as a neighbor? Good. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't seem so enthusiastic. Did Moko give you the the name Fireman? Yeah. So like I I came the over here. Fire, fireman. The first, literally the first night we came here, we arrived at night, and everyone like far I was here at Moko, and they were like, oh Ras Fire, Ras Fire, and I'm like, nah man, my name's Ross, man. Like I don't know who you're talking about, man. And then it just stuck for years, man. So that's my name now. Ross Fire. Well, I, I've only ever heard them refer to you as Ross Fire or Fire yeah, Man. Honestly, they had that name yeah. sorted for, for me before I came, man. And I thought, that is the most badass nickname. Totally, man. Fireman. I'll definitely take it, man. Like, compared <laughs> yeah. to some nicknames people totally, get. Totally, man. Totally. You pretty much got the coolest Yeah, one. I got the good one, man. Yeah. I got the good one. It's ready? Yep, it's Coco underneath it. It's so wow. strong. I forget if I asked Wani how he got his nickname, too. Oh, so Wani, he ended up coming over here and, like, hurt injuring his foot. Ah. So his foot was like knackered for like probably like a month or something or like three weeks and he was hopping about. There was a point when he had to like just hop about to move about and yeah. they called him Wani, like one foot, like one <laughs> leg. <laughs> and that stuck with him for years. He's still walking about fine now, but he's still called Wani, yeah. man. <laughs> That's the funniest thing with names. I think totally. there's a guy I met up in Mo Bay area. Right. And one day he showed up new to the village and he was wearing a red shirt. So they used to call him Red Shut. Red Shut. And then they just started calling him Shut. So like literally his name for his whole life is just shut because, just shut, man. because he one day wore a wore red, a red shirt. shirt. Yeah. So it goes in Jamaica, man. Yeah, I don't know how I don't have a nickname. Totally, yet. man. It's you just need to get one soon, man. I just kept it. No, I like, I'll keep it. I'll keep the regular totally, one. Totally, in case you it, got a bad one, it man. It might not be a cool <laughs> one at all, yeah. Yeah, these coconuts as well, we planted them three years ago, man. And usually coconut will start to bear when they're really sharp, man. True. Like you see some coconut out there and they're just like, you can just pick them. Um, and then there's soursop over here. An orange. This one's. I'm sure this one's an orange. Next to this one here. I'm sure this is orange. Oh wow. Uh, yeah, it smells a bit different. Got a little different scent. The lime, yeah, right? yeah. Nice. And this is sour salt. Oh yeah. yeah well, See, that's great because even though it's. I mean, these bear actually when they're quite small too, but... Yeah, yeah, most of them start to bear after like five years. And the fact that you can use the leaves for tea too right exactly. away, right? Exactly, same with mo pretty much everything. All the lime, the orange, you use that for tea. And then that breadfruit there. Man, you, yeah, you really do have it all. Oh, yeah, man. Like in, in the next two years, we should have a lot of food here, man. A lot of food. And then the grapefruit tree there, that's already bearing, man. Yeah. I pull, I pull the, um, the cocoa down there and I yeah. So there's a lot of things under there. Under there, you need to get your fork, man. Do you remember last year, me, you, and Koopy snuck onto the property wow. here? <laughs> when Ross oh, and yeah. Wani weren't around and we ate some grapefruit? He yeah. said it was okay, though. Yeah, yeah there's, so, there's great, so much grapefruit, there's falling off, man. So you need to pick more, man. All right. <laughs> yeah. I'm down for that. There's, 
Just yeah, so there, man. what's the future plans now? You got it all built up, but you've been here a few months, right? Yeah, I've been here a few months, um, and it's literally just been straight work, man. Yeah. Like, you know, the place was quite bushed up. Um, there was no fence. My little house was there. You know, it took a lot of work. A, a lot of the work as well was just like carrying sand. You know, like when we built the foundation and we had to fill it out with dirt. We just had to like carry barrows of dirt, man, just to fill fill the bottom out and sand. But probably the plan, I'm, I'm going to go back home for a bit. And then I'm going to try to come over here for a year or two and kind of see. I really want to try and get a little piece, more piece of land just to plant up a bunch of trees, man. Yeah. I want to plant up like a, fr a food farm. Um, I'm going to always start with here. I want to try and put a lot of trees around the, si like, around the fence line. Um, but I'm just going to kind of take it as it comes, man. Yeah. You know, obviously I want to try and stay here for extended periods of time, but you got to find a way to make money, man. <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? I mean, luckily with the remote work thing, there's more and more options these totally days, there, man. which is totally pretty sweet. There. Especially now, like when we first came here, you couldn't even get phone signal, man. Yeah. Now oh, you've yeah. got full-blown internet, man. Oh, it's <laughs> you know amazing. I mean? Dude, the you amount of... sit on your laptop, man, you know? The struggles that I've had trying to do stuff from here. I can imagine, And man. like going and sitting in the riverbed to catch one bar just yeah, to like yeah. send an email Totally, or man. Totally. Or even like keep in contact with my girl at home yeah, trying man. to make a phone call yeah. wouldn't work or get a taxi. Because or... I remember we had to go, there was one spot just right at the corner of the land. That's yeah. where you get phone signals. So you just have to go there and it would just keep breaking up, breaking up. So you end up having to go up the road, man. But yeah. it's, it's changed, man. Yeah, it's, it's changed for the better, I think. Totally. It's still got the vibe, but it's nice having yeah, the Yeah, man, it is nice. Yeah. It's like when I came over here this time, I was like, all right, you know, I'll, I'll get back to the to the jungle get away from internet you know got all my books and then i came back and it's like everyone's on the internet <laughs> like watching youtube all day i'm just like yeah. hard to get away from these yeah. days man. you know what I mean? you have to use the willpower to get totally away man you gotta be disciplined one but you do it a little bit different than most people because a lot of people they'll come here they might have a property or something mm -hmm. but they'll just stay the six months they're not going to stay an extended but you've yeah, stayed yeah. here like over a year at a yeah, time yeah yeah right? i've stayed here like i stayed here for a full year and before that i was here for so I stayed for six months and I went home for two months and then I came back for a year um, and I had like vehicles, I had like a bus, two buses and I had green plates so I was able to carry like fruits and vegetables for people. So the mm -hmm. people were selling the market in Kingston, I'd carry them from like the bush yeah. and, and load, the, load the bus full of like breadfruit and jelly and banana and ah. carry that. So I'd done that for a year. It was a good learning experience, man. Yeah, yeah. it was a lot of hard work. But I met a lot of good people, man, and a lot of real Jamaican people, you know what I mean? And kind of got to see how how it works out here, man, like how we all get our food, you know what I mean? Like, I legit all comes from the bush, man. Yeah. You go up to the bush and you see, like, massive farms, like 10 acres full of food, you know what I mean? Bananas packed, like, high, man. And you can just, like, pack them in your bus and carry them to town for people, make a little money on the side. And then you get perks of the job, man, when you get loads of food. <laughs> Yeah, you know that's a I mean? very different yeah, experience man. though than most people have totally, gotten. Man. That's what I'm totally, saying. You, totally. You've had a really different experience than, yeah, than man, most, most people. Because even like I lived down in uh, down in Morant Bay for a year, man. Yeah. And like even like probably about spent about two years down there, man. Like just living in different places, trying to run this bus. It was good while it lasted, man. You know what I mean? And I've still got one of the vehicles, but I don't think I'll run business again like that. Yeah. Online uh, business well, sounds easier. Totally, man. <laughs> on a lot of these. Yeah. Oh my god. A lot under there? Oh my god. Oh, we can eat tonight then. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's been good, man. Like, I feel like what I've done as well, I've managed to like meet a lot of real Jamaicans and get the real experience of what it's like to live here, man. You know what I mean? Even though I've only spent like maybe a year or two like out here continuously. But um, you get an idea of what it's like, man. And you get an idea as well of what like the people, what the people do in their day-to-day -day life, you know what I mean? And how they get by, man. Uh, so it was good, man. Met a lot of good people, man. Met a lot of good people. Um, and everyone know me in the market, man. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. So I can get, get the good food, man. Get the good deals, you know? Do they know you as Ras Fire, too? Uh, they actually know me as Black Man. <laughs> <laughs> another nickname. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Black Man. Which you don't get to choose. Totally, man. Don't it. choose it. They just yeah. say, never seen a white man work like that, man. Yeah. And a run bus, you know what I mean? So they all call me Black Man at the back of the market. That's hilarious. It's yeah. funny, man. Well, what more do you have to do now? Uh, like so I've got two gates to build. Yeah. I want to build two gates and then I'm going to build another bed to put into the... So I'll have a bed in each room. Mm. But I know some of the people want to come stay here and want to come visit Marco and that. So, you know, if Marco ever get fully booked, man, people can come stay here, man, and go pay Marco to guide them and yeah. eat some food and that, you know what I mean? Yeah, why not? And then yeah. help keep you guys going on your Exactly, man, maintain the place, man. So... 
I'm, I, I want to build a shower as well. I want to build a shower, and then I, I, I'm wondering about getting electricity over here because uh, there's no current over here just now. Mm. I've just got solar. Um, but I'll see if if I don't get that done by the time I leave, I'll look into getting like a full solar setup. That's yeah. that's the that's the plan in the future. But I need to go see about getting the getting the batteries and all that, so you can charge your phone and all that stuff. You know what I mean? Cause I've got the lights just now, which are good, man. They work actually really good. That's Even nice. on cloudy days, you get charged, man. So, so um, but yeah, pretty much just that, man. I like, managed to smash a lot of the work, um, like within the, the first couple months of being here, man was pretty much just non-stop um, but yeah it's, it's come together nicely man I think it's actually you, looking like a yard now you know it is I, mean? I think you need to enjoy yourself though totally, that's what i'm gonna do man working the whole time totally right? totally but it's worth it man because it pays off you know what i mean absolutely you've got your nice yard now man you feel like home and then when i go away you know i've got this to come back to you know what i mean yeah. just need to maintain it Make sure the weather doesn't mash it up this time. Yeah, man. that's it. You know what I mean? It, things go get grown quick, man. So fast here. And the yard, the yards change so much, man. Like there used to be a kitchen here. Yeah, there I'm trying to remember when I was here with Wani. Like, the, the, what the was bathroom happening? used to be the same. And then okay. there used to be a kitchen over where my my kitchen is now, but it was never built off the ground. You know what I mean? So now mine's built off the ground. It should should be fine, man. Last. Yeah, yeah. And I guess it helps that Marco built that road up there to get trucks helps down here lot, easy. Man. I couldn't even get a truck down here, man. I had to like ditch all the sand at the top you know, no where you park it and, and carry it down, man. Wheelbarrows, man. <laughs> it's a fucking nightmare. So proper, though. But yeah, it, it, it's, it's good, though, because it's like I didn't just like pay people to come and build it. You know what I mean? I was involved in it myself, man. Yeah. So I can look back and be like, ah, I feel the sense of accomplishment. You know what I mean? I've actually like put the work in, man blood sweat and tears gone into this place man yeah. you know what i mean i've heard that's an experience that everyone should do one time is building your own home yeah man even if it's a small just even if it's a small visit. little board house or something man because you get an appreciation for it and how much hard work actually has to go in there man to do it you know what i mean and then you can look on places like marco and see how much work he's done to build up his whole yard you know what i mean yeah, so, this place um, is giant compared yeah, to when I first came here. It, same way, man. Like, when I first came here, he had the two cabins, his house, and a, and a wee kitchen. Yeah. Now he's got, like, a massive yard, man. You yeah. know what I mean? Got the three-bedroom house over totally, there. Totally, man. The one, two, three, four buildings, the kitchen, the chill Kitchen's area. big. The chill area is massive as well, man. It's totally yeah. changed, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, the chill area is great now. Yeah, and then the farm, Mocha's farm's, like, vast, man. You know what I mean? You can't can't go fucking hungry over here man no. you know it's the what whole mean? corner of the river totally, man. it's <laughs> full of platinum banana corn it's nuts man yeah. mocha's a real farmer man yeah. that's how we basically learned to do all this man you know what i mean all the planting suckers and where to plant your trees and all that you know because when we first came here man it was covered in chocolate we had to cut loads of it down man yeah. you know what i mean and then even this aki tree here i cut this down the other day and just like trimmed off the top Big, yeah like, i couldn't even pick aki you couldn't even get up there to pick it you know mm -hmm. what i mean it was just like so big so now i've done that loads of sun comes into the yard man at night you can see the stars it's, it's nice man yeah, yeah, it, looks, it does look amazingly different but yeah man way, it, it looks really good man i'm really happy with the work we've done this time proper proper yeah man, man. Yeah. it looks like it feels like a yard now it, it does. feels like a home you know what i mean mm -hmm. um just little little bits of touching up we need to do few gates man and then see about maybe getting a shower and some current over here yeah it'd be nice yeah, although man. you know that bath that cold river is that's where i bathe every day man yeah every day you know what i mean but sometimes when the, when it rains the river will get dirty man yeah and i gotta bathe at the pipe yeah yeah <laughs> you know what I mean? a little easier yeah <laughs> totally but yeah it's, it's it's beautiful here man proper so lucky to have a piece of land here man you know what i mean you especially guys... the older i get you realize how lucky you are man to like get a piece like this like right next to the river right next to that place that like, like people like marco and the family you know what i mean like they feel like my jamaican family now man you totally. know what i mean just coming here so long and they de always deal with me good man so that's what i heard is the most important thing if you're getting a property here 100%. water water yeah access. man totally because there's a lot of cool land but if you got no water, no water. On it, what yeah. are you gonna do you're gonna have to pay a lot of money or get loads of tanks get people to come fill the tanks up yeah you know what i mean get, like water truck yeah in. man uh, yep I know people will land like that. They have to get big trucks to come up, and then that you have to pay them. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fill up your tank, and then they need to come again. And there's free water there, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And it's clean, man. The water's it's very beautiful. clean, man. It's the best. One of the ever. best rivers I've ever went to, man. Honestly.
should we grab a couple grape or are you sick yeah, of grapefruit? Yeah, yeah, no, no, <laughs> we can grab a couple grape. Um, let me change up my clothes and climb it. I suppose none of those ones on the ground are good. Probably not. Yeah. I can go up there though. Yeah? Yeah. All right. I'm just going to change clothes. Yeah, way. go for it. I'll yeah. check on Ratty here. Ratchy's been busy with the the cocoa here. Whoa! <laughs> Ratty, you've been busy. So, how many you find? Fuck, there they are. All right, look at this. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five good ones, little one. Still got more, you think? I'm planting them back. So you'll just plant those right back? What one? Use this one. Yeah. Yeah, you gotta have the right. Uh, Right equipment yeah, here when climbing. Definitely. I think there's maca up there as well. Yeah. So don't want to mash up my hands, man. Well, you just got some cocoa picked. Yeah. Free of charge. Cool, don't need to buy nothing. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna check the grape tree. But this, yeah, this one's getting tall too. Yeah, it's getting tall. Man. Although, the, did you clean out the bottom of it then? The, the bottom area? No. No, nah, man. Uh, there was a bunch of bush over it. Okay. So a lot of bush had grown over it. Could be cleaned it out. Oh, didn't you say the bush killed one of the other ones? Yeah, like, one was there, oh. man. Bush grew over it and killed it. Where you want? I'll go up there. Huh? Oh. You got your lizard buddy so up what here. Do? Watch, catch. Oh, you want to use that one? <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess we could just pick like that. Yeah, you can just go up there, Ross. And then we're down here picking. Go on, man. Last time, Ratty, we got some kind of bitter ones, man. I think these are the better ones. Yeah. Oh, we got double duty. There's picking and climbing going on. Bit that one. Bit that one right there. See if we get any sweetie, sweetie ones. Ready? Yeah. Oh! Some, some of them went in my hand. Ow, Maka? Yeah. Ow. All the way in my hand. Now my hand is hurting me. Any ripe ones? <laughs> Sure. Nice. <coughs> Look what run in my hand. Let's see. Oh. Ow. You good? <laughs> He's up there. Nice. Uh, we got three. We're good. Yeah, thanks, man. Yeah. Not everyone gets to do this on their own property in Scotland. <laughs> Not an everyday activity. We do go for a knife. Yeah. I think this is the they better might one, be, right? yeah. I think this is the better one. It's okay, it's good for you still. Uh, you going for more cocoa? Hey, where'd they go? Grab it. Yeah, the grapefruit here, man, when you get them ripe, they're so, so crazy good. Honestly, man. Yeah, the best I've had, I think. Really? Yeah, even better than Florida. No way, man. Yeah. But these ones might be a little too Yeah, I young, think these might be a little young. Whatever. And a little bitter, but we'll try them. We'll get that vitamin C jammed in, even if it doesn't taste so sweet. <laughs> I honestly want to say this one that died was the sweet one. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I sent some people up to clean it, but they never do it. Yeah. So it go, man. Well, it's always worth a try. Totally, man. <laughs> Thank you. I'll try it, man. Right. Not that bad. Not bad. Man. Not bad at all. Surprising. Slight, slight bit of bitterness to it, but not yeah. bad at all. Hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Way nicer than I was expecting. Mm -hmm. It's kind of a halfway, midway mm -hmm. one. Mm. Slight bit of bitterness there, man, but 
They but eat some, like this, man. yeah, some tasty. Mm. Hopefully next time there'll be a lot more food about we can pick, you know. Yeah. One tomato cocoa. We have loads of cocoa then. Come look at the cocoa when I'm stuck in the mouth. Alright. Mm. Down right there and I got all these four from this. How do you know when they're ready? Oh. I know. But does it look a certain way? No. Oh nice. Tastes like the bitterness, man. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, man. Right. What kind of bananas are these? Uh, I think they're Gross Mitchell, man. Oh, yeah. My favorite. They're the best, man. And then the honey bananas in there as well. That's what they're called, honey bananas. Yeah. Yeah, they're in there too, man. Killer. But these are my favorite, man. Gross Mitchell, man. Mm -hmm. Rare, man. Yeah, very rare. Mocker game out, man. Yes. You have everything down there, man. All different types and breeds of banana, man. Oh, my God. It's so good. More in there if you want, man. Mm. Right. Take them anytime. I've got loads. <laughs> Thanks. You plant it back? You yeah. plant it back? Yeah. Uh, and there are the cocos right there. Oh, nice. So Russ was coming before coming here before you were even born too. Yep. Yep. Going when he was in the belly, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think Ratty you were one year old when I met you. Hey. I think so. Oh my right. god. Yeah, Rati, someday I think you can do huge, big things on oh, this yard. Uh, he knows more about farming than most farmers, man. Yeah. And he's nine years old. Yeah. You know what I mean? He keeps me right over here. <laughs> what a big one. Our blue is a coke, come on, we're going to eat coke for days. Yep. Well, any final uh, words or thoughts you want to share? Because I know a lot of people, after the video I did with Wani, yeah, people yeah. hitting you guys up. Yeah. Um, I'd honestly just say come visit Marco, man. Come visit Marco, I get get a, get a real experience of what Jamaica's like, what the real food's like, what it's like to go on farms, you know, get him to take you out on some guide service, show you about the place, man. Because honestly, Sunning Hill is one of the best places in Jamaica, man. Like, I've been about all about, and over here is one of the best places, man. You, you always get a right experience. I didn't realize how lucky I was to come here first. Yeah, You know what I mean? True. And get this experience first, and meet real people and the real family and stuff, so do that man you know if you want to come over go uh come over here come to ras kitchen book a room for a couple of days or a couple of weeks mm. and, and and eat some good food and swim in the river and, and get to experience the real jamaica you know what i mean it's much better than any resort you could go to man Absolutely. definitely tell you that so and where and, can people find you because i'm a huge fan of what you're posting yeah. ross does these crazy videos of climbing in totally, scotland man. and hiking. we love climbing the high climber yeah. i know that yeah and where can people find you i'll link just, it below just but. instagram i'm just on instagram just now so it's the high climber and then you can check out samuel's instagram yeah is real yeah is real um, on instagram so just get us there and hit us up and anytime you come to Marco, come visit the yard even if i'm not here come over pick grapefruit nice. get banana whatever you need you know what i mean yeah. Thanks for the tour, uh, man. No problem, man. Respect. Yeah. yeah. yeah.